before we get back home. But let us go full term to carry out our purpose. In Jesus' name, amen. I need you all over the room. I need you, you, I know this is countercultural, what it is that you're getting ready to express, but everybody in the room, I need you to just declare out loud, I don't need a job. need that to let that marinate in you for just a little minute let that saturate in your spirit this is not a call to laziness amen uh, that, that this is going to call you to cause you to go to another dimension of thinking and i, I need 1500 of you who are in the room would you declare out loud i do not need a job all right every day ladies and gentlemen Billions of people around the world go to a job, hear me, that they can't stand. And because they are going to a job that they cannot stand, they are wasting their gifts, their talents, their abilities, their bodies, their time, their brains, their skills, and their anointing. It is an aeronautical fact that if you build a plane and put it in a hangar, but you do not fly it and just let it rest in the hangar, after several years of sitting in the hangar idle, the motor will be of no good. Consequently, conversely, if you build a plane and let that plane fly with frequency, around the nation, around the world, that motor will in fact need service and maintenance, but it will be in better condition than the one that stood still. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand the reason why it is that the plane that is flying is in better shape than the one that is standing still is because the one that is flying is operating out of its purpose. But the one that is sitting still is starting to erode because it is not functioning in the purpose in which it was designed. Many of you, under the sound of my voice, are falling apart. And the reason why it is that you are falling apart is because your job is a hanger. It is not allowing your ability, your skill set, your gift, your talent to fly. It is just keeping you in a cornered office and you have in fact placated yourself in the convincing because of a check you're happy when your mind is not working. Ladies and gentlemen, we spend a third of our lifespan on a job. One third of our lifespan is spent on a job. On average, to the people who I'm talking to today, you will spend next week Two, you will spend this year, 2009, 2,080 hours on a job. Most of us will have a 40-year career span. If you have a 40-year career span, mathematically, that then equates to you spending 83,200 hours on a job you don't like. That is, ladies and gentlemen, when you look at your day, you spend 10 hours a day at your job, 8 hours a day on average sleeping, and you only have 6 hours a day free. So you spend more time in your day doing something you don't like than you do in your day doing something that will in fact help discipline and cultivate you. You have to make up in your mind, ladies and gentlemen, that you spend too much of your time doing a job you don't like. God did not put you on this planet to be miserable. He put you on this planet to prosper, to have dominion, and to have authority. As a consequence, you're going to have to change your thinking as you approach your job so that your job is very clear that you don't need the job, the job needs you. We are, in fact, designed in the mind of God to live, hear me, abundantly, not sufficiently.
And most of our jobs are just making it sufficient for our existence. When Jesus said, I came that you might have life, not so that you might have sufficient or adequate, you ought to have abundance. So if you are in a job that is giving you an adequate pay, it is out of the will of God. You ought to be operating at a level where you are producing something that affords you a lifestyle to be in abundance. Some of you are looking at me with a wayward eye. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer to my argument. 87% of the people in this room do not like their job. 87%. 50% of you who are listening to me do not feel satisfied or fulfilled. 25% of you say that your job is the number one stress factor in your life. 41% of you who are in this room are living from paycheck to paycheck. 70% of you are not motivated by what it is that you do. 50% of you are woefully underpaid. 67% of you are in the wrong field. 72% of you are in a place where you are being undermined so you will not succeed. You were not born to be in a permanent job situation. I want to say this to you and I need you to help me think with your mind and not with your emotion. If in fact, ladies and gentlemen, I stood before you and held up a Coke bottle, the Coke bottle would in fact represent your life. But if in fact I then brought clay and told you to cover the Coke bottle, you would in fact cover that Coke bottle as best as you could. But no matter how many coats of clay you put on the Coke bottle, watch this, the clay would now take the shape of the bottle. The problem is this, is that the Coke bottle is your job and you have shaped your life around your job. So as a consequence, your job dictates when you take vacation. Your job tells you what time of day you eat. Your job suggests to you how many hours you need to put in in order to be motivated. Your job then tells you when, how much time is put in before you can retire. I want to say this to somebody and I need you to hear me with open ears and I stand to be corrected against any theologian in the world. There is no scriptural reference from Genesis to Revelations that tells anybody get a job. But nowhere in the entire Bible is there an edict that suggests from heaven go get a job. God does not tell us to get a job. He tells us go to work. I'm getting ready to help somebody here. Now, it's interesting that everything that is created understands that except saints. Cars work. Chairs work. Your watch works. Planes work. Money works. Computers work. TVs work. Dryers work. Lamps work. But you want to get a job. I want to suggest to you, and even at the risk of sounding heretical, that jobs are from the devil. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, because jobs are designed to take you off of your purpose and away from your assignment. Jobs have in fact been constructed so you would 